Why is the camera so bad? I think when the Wi-Fi is bad, the camera is bad. But I don't know. That has nothing to do with each other. But. It is an observation that I swear makes some common sense in my head because when I have good Wi-Fi, but the camera has nothing to do with the Wi-Fi. But I think maybe when I'm connected to my hotspot, it's bad, but I could try and disconnect. Let's see. Let's see if my hypothesis holds true, shall we? Turning on Wi-Fi. Turning off. Has it gotten clear? I don't think so. Kind of, right? I don't know. My hypothesis is 85% wrong, I would say. But I don't know. Hey. Um, I'm in good allure. I am at the school. I had a few minutes off. I'm waiting to get some data. Um, so, I had some moment to just... I can't get into what the experience is because I feel like same with Cortona. I don't know how I did it during Cortona week, but I need to wait for the whole, you know, month to finish so I can piece together all my ideas because I feel like this is just so vastly out of my comfort zone and so kind of just, again, it's one of those experiences, right? Look, same with lightning in a bottle. You can't USB drive from your memories into the ether what that experience is like one of those things that like you just have to see and like feel in your body what it feels like to look around and for miles on end only see tents like that's not something that uh, it's just you can say it, yeah miles on end you look to the left you look to the right all you see are tents but it doesn't like sit like that feeling of oh my god i'm in the desert and i'm here for five days and like i'm gonna have to just deal with all of this and i'm gonna have to deal with the loud rave music coming every single side of me i'm gonna have to deal with all this the million things you have to deal with like, it's just not something you can kind of explain you can just like say into words but you won't feel it and that's the same thing with being here in the forest um you know teaching in Tamil like me teaching the I image mean, is cool um and so been an interesting experience I, I think at the end of these three weeks I'm going to you know having even having to deal with the bathroom here like you know, same thing. I mean, it's, it's that's one of those things where you have like this kind of shield on like that's not a level of discomfort I'm down to deal with. I'm down to use the restroom outside and near the trees, but I'm not down for some reason to do it in just like a really enclosed repossess. Getting a call. I'm back and I'm better. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. I was just saying, I just got the data. Um, yeah, it's just one of those experiences that I feel like you have to finish so I think at the end of these four weeks or I mean, yeah the bathroom yes so the bathroom has always been something where I'm like I am not willing to go past this level of discomfort I don't know what it is about it that just makes it so hard for that to break I mean I was even talking to my roommate and he was like 
traveling through Rajasthan and things like this, like one of the things that he eventually learned is there's just something you're gonna have to adapt with. Like if you're gonna travel and you're gonna go you're gonna have to go through uncomfortable restroom situations. And that's just like part of life. It can't like I feel like that's the one thing that needs I can I'm down for all other like I'm down to sleep on the ground, sleep outside. I'm down for most other things. I just kinda wanna clean bathroom. But I feel like perhaps But it's possible, right? Like even in the the village that I was staying in near Erod, Erod, yeah, that you're bad though. Um, like the the people who lived in the the village there were really really like it was really clean, like it was very very like well maintained, like more maintained than the city and the town. Honestly, like really clean. Every house was just very clean. Like I just feel like, look, like if you can keep a clean bathroom. Like, and not have a lot of money. Like, it's not, uh, I don't think they, it's something that, like, has to go together. Like, a clean bathroom, has, I don't think, has much to do with, like, how much money you have. More just, like, how much water sits around the area. Like, other things than wealth. But I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Um, it's funny, like, insecurities can just, like, spread from nothing. Like, I don't care about my hair, I ever, I've never really even cared, I'm down to be, like, just shaved, but, like, so my mom's like, oh, you're losing hair, you're blah, 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 you're bald, like, I don't even care, but then once you, when someone says something like that, you start looking, like, oh, am I balding, like, dude, whether you are or not, I don't care, like, I don't think you are, but, like, your hair looks light, like, less, like, it looks more, like, look, like, more thin, but, like, I, People have something to say all the time. It's long. They got something to say. Short. They got something to say. They got this. They got, shut up. Like you got. You always got something to say. I'm not talking about mom. I'm just saying people. I'm just saying like people always have something to say. Um, but people always have something to say. I guess that's something that's like very important to learn from like even being in India. I'm like, dude, everyone and their mama has something to say. Everyone thinks their opinion matters. Like you're just gonna get used to like just not. Not being phased. Um, can thank you. Why was that like light so on my forehead? Why am I so annoyed right now? <laughs> um, let me see. Okay, he has sent. He has sent the data. Let me see if it works on my end. Um, but yeah, so. I think at the end of the four weeks, I got kind of my next plan. So after these four weeks, I, I booked at a hostel for five days in Uti, which is this beautiful, beautiful city on the top of a mountain. I, we drove through it when I got here. It was sick. I was like, All right, I got to be here. So I found a hostel. I'm going to stay there for five days. I feel like when you are in an uncomfortable situation, it's so easy to move up. The hostel will be a probably a more comfortable situation than the one I'm in right now. And so even though it's a hostel and you're around a bunch of people, it'll be more comfortable than the one I'm in right now. So I'm like, okay, I can, from here, I can easily go to a hostel. From a nicer situation, I can't go to a hostel. That's way harder. So you just gotta like, if you, I think the way to start a trip is just like immediately just go to the shittiest condition. Like do it lightly. So you're traveling, go somewhere kind of like the first three, four days to get used to the food, uh, uh, whatever, like the time difference, maybe for a first week, have something relatively comfortable. And then start going down slowly. So then, boom, boom. And then have a drop off, boom. This is like the least comfortable I'm going to be the whole trip. And then you can build up back to when you go back to the U.S., which is obviously the most comfortable, usually. And so, um, I think that's a good strategy just because I feel like if you expect to just stay at the same level of comfort, it's like you only have 10 places you can go in the entire world. Like, it's just not possible to be stay at that level of comfort all the time. Um... If you want, I guess, experience. I mean, yeah, it depends on why you're traveling. If you're traveling to be comfortable, then that's different. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, so. Pretty much it. I think it's a, a short one today. I uh, just wanted to ch check in. I, I don't, yeah, at the end of these four weeks, I'll kind of debunk. But yeah, so I'm excited to go there. And then after that, I'm going back to E-Road. Maybe let's see. Let's throw out a new plan. So a new plan. See, like every time, it's gonna be a new plan. So now it's changed. So I'm going to go to this place from the 26th to the 30th to at uh, Uti, and then I'll go to Erode on the 31st or 30th, something like that. On the 30th, 
Yeah. I'll go on the 30th, and then from the 30th, I will be there for one week, two weeks, almost two and a half weeks before I fly out to Pune on the 20th. And so up in Pune on September 20th, I will be doing um, that uh, course at um, that one school. So 20th until 24th or something. So 20 something, maybe a week until 27th. Okay, this is September 27th. From September 27th, I will now be going to uh, explore probably Delhi, maybe like Delhi for a week or two weeks, maybe Delhi like two houses one week each. So 27th to, f I don't know, maybe we'll see how long it lasts. 27th maybe until 2nd, one house, 2nd to 6th, another house. This is September 6th. And then after September, oh, this is now October 6th. October 6th, I'm still in Delhi. Now after that, I want to go to Taj Mahal and stay there for maybe 3, 4 days. So from Delhi, I have to, oh, I think you take a train Delhi to uh, Agra. So 6th, so 7th, 8th, ooh, but it would be better to be there on a non-weekday. Weekend, it'd be better to be there on a weekday, so we'll figure that out. So something around then, so maybe around 11th or 10th be done with, yeah, maybe get to, yeah, maybe stay in Delhi for two more days on the weekend, like, and then, mm, yeah, so then after that, get done with, everything just got cut, I just have a few more time, a few, a uh, bit more time now, and so 7th, 8th, and then, okay, so by the 10th, I don't know when if Kumar is coming too. I gotta check that out. I think my time actually might align with his now, but we'll see. Maybe we'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's all October tenth. So you're done with Delhi. You're done with Taj Mahal, which are the two things you want to do. That. Do you want to go to um, Kasi? Not really. I don't really. I'm not like super inclined to go there. You could do something else in the north. Just you know, check it out a bit more. Would you like to? My, the fear part of me says no. The adventure part of me says, oh, definitely. Are you kidding me? Like, I, there's so many things to do in this country. Um, yeah, you got to see Taj Mahal. You got to see. Okay, so what else could you do up there? I mean, yeah, maybe let's reach out to some friends and see. So, okay, so, but what else do you have after that? So after that... I look at the calendar again. So you're now at October 12th. Okay, so you're under October 12th. Then you want to spend two weeks in Bangor, if not three weeks, two weeks. Well, I think two weeks should be good. We'll see. We have some, we have some connects. So then you have two weeks. You have a long time, dude. Damn. Two weeks in Bangor. That's still the 28th of October. You still have almost a month. You almost have 50 days after that. <laughs> okay, after that, then from now you're in Bangor, if that's the situation. You got to come back down to Trichy and then come see Aya. So that's going to be the Aya for seven days so the fourth maybe with Aya you can go do something do the whole I don't know you can see maybe you can go do the whole trip with him so stay there until the fourth it's November 4th and then now you go to Pondicherry so you go there for two weeks hopefully that works and you'll be done by around the 24th of November you still have a month left you can only stay in January one week so you got three weeks of extra time You gotta find something to do. It's okay, let's take it time by time. I mean, now, you know, things have changed a little bit. You got three weeks of extra time, so. Um, you gotta find something to do, but yeah. All right, we'll plan that out. Let's see, I gotta stay alive. Stay alive, keep being healthy, keep, keep it up. We'll see how it goes.